Good morning, everybody. I'm running late. Goodness me, should have been a singer. Am I right, guys? So today, exciting, because you're going to be meeting Millie Stallion. We're going to be meeting Millie Stallion. But, Mum, what's the plot twist? <laughs> Millie's coming with us to meet the stallion. Wow! The crowd goes wild. And no one saw this coming. Yeah, a little bit different to how we did it with Bear, isn't it? Isn't it, guys? Um, but honestly, when I say I'm late, I'm so late. I've got a, um, a very exciting call to get back to you, but it's a video call. So yeah, we need to get back for that. And uh, we're supposed to have left a solid half hour ago, but that was really nice, me taking that off. So we're gonna load Millie up and then we'll catch up in the lorry and I'll let you know what on earth is going on. But stay tuned, guys. Grab some popcorn, because it's gonna be a spicy one. Mummy shouting, I need to go. chose the stallion down south and our bit chose one in Wales and we're paying the price because it is it's probably still raining at home it's dipped it down the entire journey I right, will inform you where we're going soon guys but we're looking for a petrol station because the old lady needs a tinkle <laughs> okay so we're going to do our little piece to camera now because we've not found a petrol station so Hobbit still hasn't tinkled which means this should be quite a quick one because she's in a bit of a, a hurry. On the vlog. I'm not ending on the vlog mum because this vlog we're gonna have to break some boundaries that we've not okay. spoken about on this challenge yes because Millie is meeting a stallion yes. and we're gonna make a baby the natural way not the way that Bear made the baby, which was AI, which is artificial insemination. Um, Millie is doing it in a different way, in a way that people will be more familiar with. Millie's Mum, will you gonna to be covered? Covered, and what does that mean? <laughs> For people that don't know what covered means, it means that you take your mare to a stallion. Was it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm crazy. Oh uh, yeah, you know the drill guys. <laughs> mummy mummy mare loves daddy daddy stallion very much. They make a baby. They have a special hug and a baby is made. <laughs> right, this is the last time we're doing any fluid breathing. <laughs> oh god crazy anyway god i just really wanted to put mum in the hot seat and i thoroughly enjoyed that so oh i hope it's not awkward for anyone watching with their parents i'm a boy now just come on my own and they do it <laughs> welcome back to the channel guys a family friendly channel where we talk about all things natural like doing it horsey style <laughs> Mum, yeah, it's perfectly natural. Anyway, we're going to move on from there. So Millie is going off to a stud in Wales, in Swansea. Yeah. And she's going to meet the stallion. Mum, what's the name? Uh, I think it's Rune Cullen Vanilla Ice, but I could potentially be pronouncing it. Rune Cullen. Rune, I think. Rune Cullen. R-A-U-N. Cullen. Rahoon Cullen Vanilla Ice. We'll just call him Vanilla Ice. I think he just called Ice. That's easy, isn't it? Ice. Ice. And he's a registered Welsh Section D Paulino Stallion. So for anyone, I mean, you're going to see him hopefully in a minute, yeah. but for anyone that doesn't know what Paulino is, it's, it looks the same as Cremello. So like very creamy, not as dark as Palomino. Um, Right. Yeah. Well, I hope it's right. Well, he's up here. Yeah. We'll, we'll check. I'll check. You're right. When you see the pictures, it's very difficult 
tell. Basically, from what we can understand with our very small amount of knowledge on like horse colours and DNA, Cromello and Polino, to the naked eye, you can't yeah. see a difference, but it's to do with their DNA, which it's makes them... to do with the base colour. One is a... The buttery biscuit base. One is a black base, one is a bay base. Yeah. I, I can't remember. We always forget which way we're yeah. which we're all, We really which should have researched this. But the important thing is, he's a double dilute, so he carries two copies of the G, the cream, cream G, G. The, the cream G. G. The gene cream genes. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Cream jeans. So, when he has fog, he And how would they do that? <laughs> would they do it? Do you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about... We don't know, we don't know the ins and outs. <laughs> let's, let's move on back to colours. Um, so he'll always pass on the cream gene, which basically dilutes the mare colour. Yeah. So with Millie, we will probably get either a smoky black, which is black with a smoky dilute tint. A smoky shimmer. Smoky shimmer. Or potentially buckskin if um, she, Peggy, no, Billy's got a bay base. That is what we're holding out for, obviously. I'm perfectly happy. I like smoky black. Yeah, smoke, and the folds that are smoky black yeah. look adorable because they've got, they like literally have got this smoky like glisten. Yeah, they look incredible. They have really striking eyes. Yeah, no, they do look amazing. So, whatever but, we get. Whatever we get. Anyway, the most important thing and the reason I have chosen Ice is because he has got the most amazing, calm, gentle temperament. And ultimately, that is what I was thinking. I was hoping to breed a very in one mile at roundabout. Take the second exit onto the A465. Fingers crossed. Gonna, sorry for Siri interrupting there. Yeah, so that's obviously for bear. I'm hoping to breed an event horse. Um, so hence why I've gone for a bigger stallion with more blood and like you know kind of eventing bloodlines. Whereas for Millie. We wanted to kind of, yeah, breed, firstly breed a pony because she is a little bit smaller and finer than Bear, so we didn't want to put her to a big horse. But yeah, like Mum was saying, we wanted to breed like a nice sort of yeah, family pony that, you know, I mean, if she has a little done, or buckskin even, I think we'll struggle to sell it. But in theory, we're trying to breed a nice, safe family pony, probably to sell her. I mean, we don't, really doesn't have any registered breeding, so for a future baby, I felt it was important that it, um, mainly that it had a great temperament. Mm. Um, but secondly, because he's pure Welsh, her baby will yeah. be able to be registered as part of Welsh, yeah. um, Welsh and which you can show, do work in the roundabout. And five. she's very talented as a mare. Yeah, exactly. And I think they will have a, a really yeah. nice baby together. Yeah. So, plan of action today, we've obviously got Millie in the back with us, if you haven't realised, we are in the lorry, so ice covers naturally, which you know, we've already discussed all of that, Mum's done an excellent job of explaining how that works. I did, didn't I? Um, in three miles. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, and because he's, you know, a little bit smaller, we're perfectly happy with having Millie covered naturally. Also, because Millie is a little bit nervous, the idea of having to have lots of injections, lots of scans, we just didn't think it was going to particularly suit her. And she has already had a foal and been covered naturally in the past. So this way kind of just made more sense um, for Millie and for the stallion. So she is going to be left at stud, we think, for about four-ish weeks if everything goes to plan. Oh, it could potentially it could be longer. longer because um, she may well stay until she's had a 28-day scan. Oh, uh, we're going to a 28-day scan potentially, okay. Yeah, so essentially we need to get her in full and then you get them scanned at 28 days. Is that the heartbeat scan? No, I think the heartbeat scan Yes, you're right. So the first scan is to see if they're cold and if there's 14 to 60 yeah, days. Yeah, they're twins. Yeah, and then I think they have the heartbeat scan, as you say, uh, 28 days. So, um, so that like that time is like before that 28 day period is kind of is very like touch and go. You've got quite a high risk of losing the embryo at that stage. Whereas after the heartbeat scan, 
obviously there's still a risk, but you're kind of a little bit out of the woods. So hopefully like that's a safe time to kind of bring her home and yeah, just crack on and hopefully do some baking. So that is the plan of action. When we get there, I'm hoping to show you ice and we'll show you a little bit around and we'll hopefully show you Millie being turned out. She's gonna go out in a herd with lots of mares, which should be great for her because that is literally how she's kept at home. Like she's kept out with all the youngsters. Fingers crossed, this is going to be a lovely holiday for Millie. Yeah, lovely lay in South Wales. A nice summer romance, some summer loving. Had me a blast. That's what we're doing today. Anyway, this has been a long old intro, hasn't it? But it's all been worth it for Hobbit's beautiful episode that Mum that's going in and I'll probably I'll probably put it in at the end as well, guys, if you just want to watch it again. No, that's not fair. You didn't give me any warning that I was being expected today for my energy lesson. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop being on this channel if you Well you're not, because you're driving, you literally can't get out of it. So see when we get there guys. Hopefully find a toilet for this one. Okay, so we have arrived and literally Millie is going to go right out, straight out into the field and friends and vanilla ice, ice is in there. God, vanilla God. ice is ready. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to pop her out, but we've come in and all the broomers have just whinnied to her. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so looking pop forward to being out, out with them, isn't she? It's a nice big field and yeah, right. the stallion at least is used to being around mares. Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? You're gonna be alright. You've got lots of friends, baby girl. The windswept look. So Millie is happily out in the field. Literally gave her a little touch on the nose, and she was like, "Mum, I'll see you later." <laughs> I'm, I'm, fine, uh, I'm in Magaluf now, and people know what the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, don't be embarrassing. Don't be a, one of those parents. <laughs> um, yeah. So she's grand. Lovely big field. All the mares were so sweet, and Ice was really, really sweet. Like they had a little hello, a little squeal, but then like he was just like. Eh. You're not ready, so he's just backed off and not ready for what, mate? chilled out. Not ready for when a mummy mare <laughs> and a daddy mare love each other very much. <laughs> not ready for that special hug <laughs> just yet. Anyway, we are <laughs> journeying down to the rest of the stud because there's lots of fields in various different places. Right. Where's the leg gone? Oh, no, she's gone round to the right, I think. Um, and yeah, we're gonna quickly see some babies and then we're going to head home. So I'll show you guys some of his babies now. So here we have a little, little buckskin baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, so tired. That's a lazy one. Oh, oh get out. Oh, it's all right. Get out. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness, hello. He is gorgeous. And out of a black mare. Is he getting up? Is he yours? Yeah. Oh. Are you hey, getting up? Sweetie. Hello, darling. Thank, Thank you for letting us see him. What a good girl. Are you a four-pound? Are you a 24-pound bitch? Have a pill. Have a pill. 
Is there okay. of these people you've bought to see my gorgeous foal? And waking him up. I've only just gone to sleep. <laughs> Never wake a sleeping baby. Yeah. You are so friendly. Hello. Uh, <laughs> just watch it. She can be a little bit <laughs> Boy. And <laughs> yeah, then he's just following after. Your mummy's going to get annoyed if you yeah. talk to strangers too Good much. boy. Yes, I know. Come over. Hello, naughty ponies. Babies. Oh my goodness. Such a lovely You are so gorgeous. Hello. We're hoping to have a little half brother or sister to you. Yes, we are. Hello, sweetheart. Oh. I'm gonna take them home. Got the lorry. Yeah. <laughs> Put that down. Give you his troubles or anything. Yeah. Give that view because you are very pretty. Oh, oh She's my word. Left. He is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, hello. Look at your face. <laughs> No, but no. that's naughty. No, you're gonna have to come in now. You need. To <laughs> yeah, I know. It's time to come in. <laughs> Oh. oh my word, more babies guys. <gasps> okay, you guys need to comment who your favourite foal is. Oh my god, I want to take them all home. Yeah. Apparently you're naughty boy. Apparently you're a naughty boy. You're a naughty boy. Yes you are, don't do that because you'll get told off. Here's that bunny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're all so stunning. Hi, chap. No, Hi, chap. Stop. <laughs> She's beautiful, Colin. She, she. Yeah, oh, she. Sorry. Sorry, gorgeous girl. Wow, she is incredible. They've all got lovely temperaments. Yeah, yeah, they're all super friendly. They all are. Oh, you must be really pleased with her. You've got naughty in there actually, but it means. Having a little groove. Aww. Having a little groovy groove. <laughs> oh my god, I want them all. Hello. This is oh, by the short jumping stallion. Oh, they're just too cute. Oh, you are gorgeous girl, girl as well. Good girl. Oh, that is adorable. That's Coco. Cool, cool. Hi, okay. Coco. Good girl. Look at that Oh, wow, you're very leggy. Come on then. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? She's stunning. Oh, you're a pretty lady. Well done. You? I mean, such a pretty baby. You are baby. a pretty girl. Yeah. Oh my god! He's trying to get milk. He's sassy. Do you think he'll be fine either? Yes. Yeah. You rub his eyes. Oh wow. Oh, good girl. You good man. Baby bot. Yeah, I know. You've got oh, no words. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Cold. Oh, this is her thing. Let me see you. Oh, hi, Ding. Oh, hello. Oh, my word. You're such a chocolatey colour. Prada. Oh, sweet name. Hello. I love how her ears point inwards. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you're being very brave. Hello, mummy. Being very brave. Oh, How cute were those babies? Literally, the prettiest colours ever. Definitely could have fit all of them in this empty <laughs> box the way home. Not the mummies, but I, I would happily bottle feed all those babies because they are so cute. Anyway, we're heading off now. I will show you. We're literally driving past the field that moves in. 
And there she is! Making friends. Oh, she's lit. Oh, Millie, she's wandered off just to see you guys she are here. She might want to take her back. Yeah, she's like, don't you dare. Oh, well, you can't see her. She's just gone under that, like, brow of the hill. But literally, this field's enormous. It goes all the way after the hill. It goes all the way down into this little valley bit. Just a very nice environment for her to be in. So I'll hop out and do the gate in a second, and then we're going to get Tinkle Town off to a uh, toilet somewhere because you're struggling, aren't you, Mum? Still haven't found a petrol station. Um, so that's what we need. In fact, we've seen one on the way back with a McDonald's. So <laughs> time to look it up. So we'll probably do that, and then we'll catch up and wrap this little vlog up. It's been pretty boom, boom, boom. Right, doing this to honour Tina and Em because they always show you guys what they get at McDonald's. So. Hobbit is also being very stuck up. She's like, ugh, I don't think I've had McDonald's since Sam's about seven years old. <laughs> right, we get and it. That's true. You don't eat junk food, well done. Give you a medal. <laughs> so, because mum doesn't know what she gets, she's got what I get. And that is a sweet chili chicken wrap, guys, with fries. I've got nice. four. An oasis, it is, isn't it? And you've got a flat white to keep you up for the way home. Yeah, all good. Cheers. We'll catch up in a bit, but I'm gonna stuff my face. No. And we'll get on our way. That was nice to your mouthful. <laughs> Stop it! I am just updating the people. You're nearing the end of your McDonald's. Uh -huh. First um, one in goodness who knows how many years. I'm going to finish my coffee. Any notes for the chef? Just a general <laughs> review, please, actually, Hobbit, because I know the people, <laughs> they're, they're going to want to know. I quite enjoyed the chicken chili wrap. Quite nice. Sweet chili chicken wrap is what she yeah. had. Um, the the crispy version, the, you know, not the. Oh, right. There's a grilled version. We don't oh, want that. Right. Okay. Um, it's good. Enjoy that coffee. All right. The coffee's good. Nice yeah. Nice and hot. Nice you and said. Hot. Yep. The chips. How are they going They're, down? Yeah, I'm not a big fries fan, as you know. You're more of fries, aren't you? I'm a, a fries girl. You're more of an oven chip. Yeah. Or jack potato, lady. preferably. Mm. But no. I was really hungry. And what about the lack of brown sauce? How did that affect you? No, I'm sad because I don't really like tomato sauce. Not a big, not a barbecue girl either. No. This one. So, but, okay. Um, Overall, quite a pleasant experience. And well, would you eat a McDonald's again? Not unless I was I had to. Really. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Right at the end of the review. <laughs> that was a shocker to us all. Okay, guys. Well, if, if I had a choice, I probably wouldn't choose it. I'll keep you updated on Hobbit's food diaries. I'm trying to get her to a KFC and a Burger King. No. But we'll see. Maybe one day, guys. Stay tuned. Do stay tuned on this channel. Sponsored thanks to McDonald's. Really appreciate it, guys. Didn't think you'd see such a small-time influencer like myself, but... Right, let's get down and dirty. Let's get down to business. Just like millions. So we've left Millie with lovely Elaine and Francis. Yep. And uh, we're happy that she's in very capable hands. We yes. really, really liked Elaine. She's a lovely lady. Very, very experienced. Her, her team there. And she, was, yeah. she kindly showed us around the yard and the barns and stables and fields. Yeah, it was, it was a really nice place actually. And just, I don't know, the horses are all so happy and so friendly. And I yeah. think that speaks wonders when you go somewhere and they all want to come over, they want to say hello, and like they all really love Delane. It's just like, oh, it just makes you feel better yeah. when you turn up and it's I, like that. I've been really anxious about leaving Millie anyway. No, I don't like the babies going off, but I actually feel completely chilled and relaxed about it. Well, I don't think you've been completely too relaxed about anything, <laughs> ever. For a long time, <laughs> not since I started thinking about having thoughts. No, so I feel perfectly um, happy that she's in very capable hands. Yes, so basically Millie's going to be out in the field with ice, with all those other mares and ice. I mean, because because we're doing it the natural way, like that's the most natural you can do it other than yeah. them being wild. Um, but because that's how ice operates. <laughs> so awkward. Ice does cover in hand for anyone who is interested as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, basically, Ice is going to know if Millie's in the mood. <laughs> in the mood to group. <laughs> ice is going to know if Millie wants a baby. <laughs> and then he's going to do something about it. 
I mean, this is probably going to be bad for this vlog. <laughs> can get demonetized. <laughs> no, so like, it's it's all very it's very interesting to to kind of witness because I mean, obviously we've not scanned Millie and we don't know where she's at in her cycle, but it's incredible like nature doing its thing. Like ice, will, well, stallions in general just are very perceptive in yeah. reading the mare and knowing when they need to cover well, them. And Elaine said in her experience, because I was, I felt really bad that we didn't know. Millie's not, she's not so sort of very showy when she's in the season. Yeah. So we've really not got very much idea. Um, but um, Elaine said in her experience often, within a few days of being turned out in that sort of environment where you've got other yeah. mares and you've got the stallion looking after them all, um, the mares actually come into yeah, the season, season very quickly. Yeah. So we're keeping fingers crossed that that is the case. And then Ice will know. Ice. And then, apparently, <laughs> he takes the behind the bank. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> It's true. That is what the lady said. <laughs> I wonder if Dad's watching this video. <laughs> He's gonna die when he watches this. Oh my god! Right. Okay. Woo. <laughs> so that's that bit covered. <laughs> Basically. So yeah, that that happened. So we're just waiting <laughs> for a phone call, basically. <laughs> and um, the next step will be that Elaine and her team keep very close eye on what's going on mm -hmm. in Isis' field with his girls. And once um, they feel happy that she's she's been covered, then they'll count 16 days from then and she'll yeah. have a scan. Yeah. And then once they've been scanned in full, they take those guys out and they put them in like a mare in full field that will be more like chilled, more zen. It's just like a little mother's meeting. It's sort of embryo field. An embryo field, yeah. It's kind yeah. of like, it's like baby classes, isn't it? Like what to expect, yeah, what you're yeah. expecting. Yeah. Well, until you meet with other mums to meet. Yeah. Today. They'll do like breathing exercises. I think there's some like mummy yoga, stuff like that. Um, and then she will have her heartbeat scan at 28 days and fingers crossed we get to that crucial stage and everything's okay and then we'll go and collect her and she'll come back to ours to bake the baby and then we've got to come up with a plan for next year as to where Millie and Bear will go to have their babies because we do not feel I mean I think you can tell the general vibe the fact we can't even talk about the process I wouldn't want to be foaling them because I'll get very squeamish so if I can't even talk about X, then <laughs> how am I supposed to deliver a fault? Can't be done. <laughs> it was so awkward. So basically that's what's crack a lacking. Isn't it man? Yeah. It is fun. So so any um, recommendations for experienced studs that take mess nest fault in Worcestershire will be greatly received. Yes. Hopefully. But anyway, we're away off that stage yet. Yeah we are. We'll worry about that. Yeah, that's true. We need to firstly get two mares scanned in full and at this moment in time we have zero mares scanned in full. So it's a long old process, a bit stressful, a bit awkward, <laughs> but hopefully we'll have two cute little foals Maybe next year. Maybe we should just buy a cute little foal. Yeah. One thing I will say is that I didn't really get any footage of Ice because he was terribly excited to meet Millie and he went off into the distance. But he's basically a gorgeous Polino Welsh D stallion. He was very nice looking. Was. Millie is going to be a lucky girl. Millie seemed to like him and he seemed really she did. sweet, really yeah. sweet boy. She was just so chill. She was actually grazing within like two minutes. Yeah. Like, she was living her best life. She was like, bye guys. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about me. Don't wait up. No, exactly. So anyway, everyone wish Millie a good time. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching guys. Yeah. Comment down below if you're watching with your parents or with a daughter <laughs> or any or a son, just any, anyone, any family member that you're watching with, if it was a bit awkward, <laughs> come on, leave a comment, leave a comment, because it's been awkward Are you going to have me. a warning in the title? So mm, don't, I, uh, don't watch this with your parents on No, I don't know, I will. I think I'm just going to, yeah, just going to, solid, enjoy guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Probably don't like, probably got unsubscribe. Don't. Over to my channel. Which I don't I've got a channel. Yeah. Definitely don't unlike or anything, just. Hit the subscribe because I want to hit 100k. All right, at 100k I'll get a Hobbit to give you a detailed description of what Millie's up to. <laughs> anyway, I think we should have a giveaway at 100k. Yeah, give you away. I was gonna give you away. You away.
thanks for watching. We live, laugh, love you. We'll see you very soon. It'll only get better from here. Hopefully. It'll only get better because we've got <laughs> more stuff to talk about. We've got the birth to talk about. That'll be fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Sorry. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies.